All right, 511 here still looking at that patchy dense fog in some places. It's very thick in others. You're waking up and saying, hey, it's not all that bad. Specifically looking down here, Sylvania. This camera looks pretty good for us here at 23 right out to Monroe Street. You look up towards Waterville, looks like pretty thick fog. BG as well. How about Finley? One of the thickest spots on the map and then downtown Toledo. We've had this very unique view for you this morning looking down on what is a shallow layer of fog that has developed overnight. Dense fog advisory in place for all of northern Ohio, including pretty much all of northwest Ohio. The lone exception, one strip of counties here right against the Indiana border. And that's an indication that the fog or conditions do improve very rapidly the further west you go out of the center part of the city here. Hour by hour forecast is going to show south and east of the Toledo Metro is where the worst is right now and where it's likely going to stay until that sun comes up, starts burning it off, and then we actually have a fairly mild afternoon in store. We have no doubts that our school delay hotspot map will be starting to uh, turn shades of yellow here in the next little bit, and I've tried to indicate where delays are going to be more likely, and it's basically this purple line south and east, so about two thirds of the area. You live west or north of the Toledo Metro up towards uh, Lenaway County, Fulton County, Defiance County. Things are going to probably be a little bit easier for you to head on time for today. Watch our hour by hour forecast. You can actually see the fog on the map here. Watch how it slowly begins to peel away by this afternoon. That northerly wind is taking hold and that's what's going to lead to a cooler start to the weekend. There could be a few scattered snow showers tonight, especially down towards Defiance and Finley here as this swings on Paso probably largely misses the Toledo Metro. It's not impossible to imagine a little bit of light snowfall out the door tomorrow morning where I'm saying a winter jacket day. This will be the coldest day of the 10 day forecast on the way tomorrow, but even here we get some afternoon sunshine back in our forecast. That sunshine pays dividends by Sunday back up in the low 50s. Monday looking pretty mild as well. We'll have to keep an eye on a potential lake breeze. And speaking of very warm, haven't changed our thoughts that we think two record highs could be set next week. Tuesday and Wednesday, the chance for some scattered showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder to go along with it, with mild air likely continuing into early March.